Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Pradam. I'm a Flux maintainer. Uh, I'm working for WeWorks in the developer experience team. I'm very excited to share with you what happened with Flux since uh, last KubeCon. So the big news is that Flux uh, has been promoted from Sandbox to Incubation. But for those that are uh, new to Flux, uh, let me give you a little bit of background. Uh, we started Flux at WeWorks five years uh, ago as an internal project that was meant to help us operate uh, Kubernetes in production. Like most Kubernetes users, um, we were using kubectl to perform application deployments and infrastructure upgrades. We soon realized that these operations can be made in a collaborative manner by using Git as the uh, desired state of our production system. So we needed a tool that uh, would watch Git and reconcile the cluster state once changes are approved and uh, merge uh, in the repository. This is how uh, the GitOps uh, idea was born. Three years later, uh, when GitOps became more popular, Flux joined the CNCF as a sandbox project. Uh, after joining CNCF, our community has grown exponentially. And you can see here uh, the numbers in terms of contributors, contributions. Um, the people that are maintaining Flux uh, is no longer a WeWorks only project. Uh, other companies have joined and I want to thank them all for, uh, for stepping up and uh, help with, with Flux. With, with more organizations uh, adopting GitOps, and cloud native technologies. And with Kubernetes evolving so fast, uh, we've hit the limits of Flux initial design. Uh, we realized that if we want to accommodate uh, more futures, help new contributors uh, extending Flux easily, um, we needed to break the monolith and break the monolith into smaller independent components. So last year, we, um, we started designing a framework that we call the GitOps Toolkit. And this framework is the foundation uh, on which we are building um, Flux version to the next major iteration of Flux. So if, if Flux version one was a monolithic tool uh, that um, could reconcile a cluster state from a single Git repository. With version two, we have, uh, uh, we have a different aim. We want to provide the complete continuous delivery platform on top of Kubernetes uh, with support for common practices uh, and uh, you know, the popular tools that are in this field, such as Customize, Helm, the new cluster API, um, also offer observability inside uh, your uh, your delivery pipelines, and we'll see how how we how we got to that. Here is a is a diagram uh, that shows you how um, Flux can now manage multiple clusters. You can look at different sources and so on. Okay, let's talk about the GitOps toolkit. So. What is the toolkit? The toolkit is a collection of um, Go libraries, APIs, and Kubernetes controllers. All these put together can help you uh, build declarative continuous delivery pipelines. And the toolkit is Kubernetes native. It's built with uh, control runtime libraries. It can be configured using uh, Kubernetes custom resources. It's composable, you can uh, pick and choose components based on what you want to do. Um, you can extend it easily. Uh, we have um, libraries that help you build your own controllers and you can um, integrate those controllers back in, into the toolkit. It's secure. We, we try to, uh, bridge the gap between source um, control access and Kubernetes uh, um, access in a way that 
you can validate the authenticity of, of a person that uh, creates a uh, creates a commit. Uh, you can verify that that person has uh, the right access to, to modify something on your production cluster, and then the toolkit can run those changes, those operations, uh, under by impersonating a, a Kubernetes account, which is restricted uh, according to how the cluster admin defined that particular tenant. Also, the toolkit is, uh, is event-driven. So you can subscribe to external events like a Git push or a Helm chart upload or a Docker push and uh, define how these events should change the cluster state. Also, um, uh, the toolkit has a component uh, for you to define alerts. So events, what happens inside the cluster can uh, be pushed outside the cluster using, uh, um, using the alerting uh, API. Uh, with, uh, with this API, you can push alerts to Slack, Microsoft Teams, Discord, even right back to, let's say, a GitHub uh, commit status or GitLab. Some of the core features of, of Flux version 2 are uh, multi-source. So you can uh, describe your uh, cluster state or your fleet of clusters from multiple Git repos. Helm repos, even uh, buckets. Uh, we, uh, you can define your, your cluster state in, uh, in any kind of S3 compatible storage, for example, Minium. We have built-in secrets management. Uh, we integrate with Mozilla SOPS and Cloud KMS. Um, Flux version 2 comes with, uh, with uh, multi-tenancy features. Uh, where it impersonates users when it tries to, uh, to reconcile something. Uh, you can also run uh, Flux on a central cluster and control all your cluster fleets, um, all the clusters that are making your fleet without installing Flux on, on each cluster. And of course, observability. We, we issue events for everything that's happening. We have metrics, alerts, and uh, we also uh, offer Grafana dashboards for you to see what's happening with your continuous delivery pipelines. Uh, we've developed a new Flux CLI and also a Terraform provider, so you can have a GitOps uh, first approach uh, to bootstrapping clusters. Um, the Flux CLI comes with a, uh, with a single command where, uh, and with that command, you can create your Git repos, you can install Flux on the cluster and, and peer the two uh, with deployment keys, team access, and so on, and it works with a variety of, of Git providers uh, over SSH, directly with, uh, with GitHub API or GitLab API and so on. Um, another update is that uh, Flagger has joined uh, the Flux family. Uh, what, what Flagger does is uh, it decouples the, uh, the deployment of an application from the release process. So Flux does the deployment while Flagger can do the, the release uh, through uh, Canary with progressive traffic shifting, A-B testing, blue-green, blue-green with mirroring and so on. And Flagger works with a, a variety of, of uh, service mesh providers and ingress controllers. And finally, I'm going to ask you to join the Flux community. We have a, 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 we have a Slack channel on CNCF and we use GitHub discussions for, uh, for uh, everything around Flux version two, what features are going to be shipped and so on. And I've listed here some hot topics like uh, we are now uh, working on uh, Flux uh, web user interface. So if you want to participate in that, uh, you have opinions of how, what the, uh, the Flux UI should show users, what actions you could take through it and so on, uh, please, please join GitHub and uh, join our community. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day.